Welcome back to Electrology, your go-to channel for all things electrical engineering. In today's episode, we're delving deep into the world of REF protection, an essential component in safeguarding our electrical systems. Let's get started by understanding what REF protection is and why it's crucial. REF, or Restricted Earth Fault Protection, is a specialized scheme designed to detect and respond to earth faults in power systems. Earth faults can be dangerous as they can lead to equipment damage, power outages, and even pose risks to personnel. Unlike other protection relays, REF protection focuses specifically on detecting ground faults within a predefined zone. As you can see in the diagram, the CT secondary of each phase of the device are connected together. Then common terminals are connected to the secondary of a neutral current transformer or NCT. The CT connected to the neutral of a power transformer or alternator is called neutral current transformer or neutral CT or simply NCT. Whenever there is an unbalancing in between three phases of the device, a resultant unbalanced current flow through the closed path connected to the common terminals of the CT secondaries. An unbalanced current will also flow through the neutral of the device and hence there will be a secondary current in neutral CT because of this unbalanced neutral current. In restricted earth fault scheme the common terminals of phase CTs are connected to the secondary of neutral CT in such a manner that secondary unbalanced current of phase CTs and the secondary current of neutral CT will oppose each other. If these both currents are equal in amplitude there will not be any resultant current circulates through the said closed path. The restricted earth fault relay is connected in this closed path. Hence the relay will not respond even there is an unbalancing in phase current of the device. Let F1 be the external fault occurs in the network. This fault induces the I1 and I2 current which flows in the secondary of the CTs. The resultant current of the I1 and I2 becomes zero. When the fault occurs inside the protective zone, say F2, then only current I2 exists, and I1 is neglected. The current I2 passes through the earth fault relay. The earth fault relay operates only for the internal fault of the protective zone. We generally provide a stabilizing resistor in a high impedance REF protection scheme. To reduce sensitivity of the relay from operating through fault conditions may be in case a CT saturates. This resistor is calculated such that under an external fault condition, that is for full fault level, the voltage developed by the unsaturated CT shall not circulate more current than the setting in the relay, thus preventing the relay from operating for an external fault and chattering. So, what are the advantages of REF protection? One. Swift fault detection. REF protection reacts rapidly to earth faults, minimizing equipment damage and downtime. 2. Enhanced safety. It ensures the safety of personnel by quickly isolating faulty sections. 3. Preventing catastrophic failures. REF protection prevents minor earth faults from escalating into major system failures. In conclusion, REF protection is a critical element in maintaining the reliability and safety of electrical systems. We've explored what REF protection is, how it works, and its advantages. By implementing this technology, we can ensure a more resilient and secure power infrastructure. Thank you for joining us today on Electrology as we demystified REF protection. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more electrifying content. Until next time, stay charged.